Alright guys, welcome back to the video and today we have the Galaxy Note 10 with me and if you're wondering why we have the Note 10 here is because the One UI update, the version 2.0 update or the Android 10 update has finally arrived for the Galaxy S uh, Note 10 family as well so I did a video on the Galaxy S10 family already so you can check out the video here, I already did a review on the One UI update so we got a, we're getting the same treatment here with the Note 10 family now so let's see you scroll down here, we go to software uh, update. You can see we have a new version and it's already downloaded. So it's around 1.985 MB and uh, has a security patch of December 1st, 2019. So the change log, as you can see, obviously comes with Android 10. So a bunch of new uh, features here that we got, similar to the one on the S10 family. Uh, so we've got the new enhanced dark mode, you've got better icons, colors, and better animations which, which is why I like this update. Uh, we have the full screen gestures which is welcome as well. And we've got refined interactions, one handle mode is good, accessibility, better text or wallpapers, media devices uh, changes as well. Biometrics, uh, device care and uh, digital well-being, and camera as well has changed. So it's mostly similar to the one on the S10 as I said internet, contacts, calendar, reminders, and a lot more actually that I have too many to go through. So I'm just going to show you guys the list and you can just pause the video to see uh, which one you want. Alright, so let's go ahead and install the update. It should take uh, about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how many apps you have. So yeah, here we go, it's installing. So be sure to back up your devices as usual, back it up and make sure your data is okay before proceeding. I've done everything, so we're gonna proceed. Be right back once the update is completed. To show you guys the initial look of the Android uh, 10 update on the Galaxy Note 10. So we'll be right back. Right, guys. So we have done updating the device. It took around uh, 10 to 15 minutes to upgrade to Win uh, Android 10. So now we're running on Android 10. So before we get into anything, let us go into the settings. Oops. And then go scroll down to the uh, software information, which is about phone. Scroll down to the software information. You can see we're running on One UI version 2.0 and Android version 10, which is Android, actually Android Q. But yeah, so we have finally upgraded. You can see we are doing the Easter egg. So we just draw that like, Q or something. Uh, I'm just lazy. Anyway, so this is the new version. Uh, we got security patch uh, December 1st. And build number is, this is the new build number you can see. Uh, XXU1BSL7 is the updated one. Right. Alright, so now let us go through most of the features. I think it's all the same like the S10. So we got the new uh, navigation gest gestures. So if you go to settings you search for full screen oh, I think it's in display yeah it's in display you can go to the navigation bar so this is the new feature we got full screen gestures if you turn it on it's gonna hide the bottom three buttons and uh, it's pretty much the same as the implementation on Google's pixel you just swipe up to go to the notifications and you can easily switch between apps you can close them, you can open them and if you want to go home, you just swipe up to go home which is fantastic uh, implementation here which is better than the one on Android 9 in my opinion so another cool update we got also as well is in the uh, uh, where is it? it's one of the, yeah, in the digital well-being so if you go in, I think we have the new yeah, we have the new focus mode so you can uh, activate certain apps that you want to use in a certain period of time let's say work time so if you start this you can choose apps that you want to add for this period of time so let's say I only can uh, somehow let us just add an app let's say calculator or something so done so if we start it we uh, now we are in this work mode so if you go to the home you can see all the apps are grayed out only I think uh, certain apps are able to use calculator, the clock, the device care, the rest are all grayed out. Let's say I try to press calendar, it says stay focused. So yeah, we can go back to focus mode, we can end it and we're back to default mode here. So yeah, very nice. 
let's go back to the settings so this is one of the new features provided in android 10 in the device cam we got a new ui so this is a pretty nice looking layout here very sleek we have the uh, information of the battery life available so it's a nicer user interface and the wireless power share as well has been enhanced so we have the battery limit you can set we have the same actually with the s 10s update uh, and we got the new storage UI as well nice and we can go ahead and clean it you will just clear the cache that it finds and now the phone should be having some free space which is fantastic uh, now some other features that I have also noticed mm. we have a look we got the wallpapers as well so now we have a wallpaper service as you can see so you can have a dynamic lock screen if you want which means it changes every time uh, you unlock your screen so you can say auto update and we can also yeah let's just apply it and show you guys you can see you can choose a couple of uh, categories for your lock screen like landscapes live food so if you download on these things you will uh, sort of uh, shuffle through a list of uh, wallpapers you can see a lock screen which is fantastic and now the wallpapers has also been uh, diff it's a bit different in the settings as well you can see we are now not directed redirected to the uh, galaxy theme store which is a bit annoying so now you can just change the wallpaper from the settings um, let's go to the camera so the camera has uh, undergo an uh, overhaul in terms of the uh, UI here so we go to you can see the user interface is a bit different it's a bit uh, cleaner so you swipe to the right you can change your modes however you will find out where is all your other modes is all under the more section now you can see you have your pro mode your super slow mode is here your night mode is here so if you want to edit you can select night mode and bring it here if you want you can click save and there you go you have your night mode and the bixby vision and AR emoji is also here which is nice i mean it's not in the way or something usually it's always in the way so now you don't have to uh, see it as well notification panel has also changed a bit so we now we have the uh, we have usually have the media devices at the top but now you can actually uh, let me just go to the settings you can actually change this in the status bar not mistaken oh no uh, it's one setting you can change all right so it's uh i think it's over here yeah quick panel layout so you can see we have a uh, new options you can turn off the show media devices if you don't want that so usually it's always blocking you you can see now it's gone notification, notification shade is nice and speaking of notifications you have some new toggles as well and notice so if you notice we have uh, let's go to the right we have a new screen recorder uh, i think this is wasn't introduced in the note 10 i'm not mistaken i know i don't remember this but if i'm if i'm wrong correct me so the stream recorder is here, we have the S Pen Air Actions as well uh, toggle, we have the new focus mode toggle as well, you can enable and disable from there and yeah that's pretty much it actually, other than that everything else is pretty much the same uh, what else I think the S Pen we don't have anything new, I don't remember seeing that adding anything new so everything else pretty much the same actually we have all these uh, shortcuts you can go to the settings actions so this is the same actually uh, we have the we can press to open the camera looks like hold down pen to open the camera yeah we can hmm So no new features on the S Pen, I think I don't really notice any changes in the S Pen. It's only changes to uh, other features in Android 10. So yeah, uh, I think the weather application has undergone overhaul as well. Uh, let's just connect to the Wi-Fi, hang on. Connected, let's go. So we have the new weather uh, app here, you can see. It's a bit different now. Yeah, way different than last time. So we have a menu here. Looks like oh, you can see all your cities in one place. It is nice. Uh, moving on, let's see what else. So we go to settings. Uh, we go to the biometric and security. I remember there's a new uh, setting. I think it's in always on display. 
should be on the lock screen um, always on display so um, oh there is a new update interesting hmm I thought there will be something new here looks like there aren't anything new Such a psyche. So here is pretty much unchanged. The one handle mode is a bit different now. If we turn on, we have to swipe down the gesture, the bottom screen. You can see this is how you activate it. Swipe back. I think you swipe back up to disable. I'm not sure how to disable this. I'll just turn it off from here. Yeah, so that's a new way to interact with the one handle mode. Motion and gestures, I think it's all the same. And it's pretty much the same. So no changes here. Mm, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it actually on the update. Uh, we don't expect much visual changes in the One UI. Uh, mainly it's just a feature change, you can say a feature add-on for this uh, update for the Galaxy Note 10. So yeah, anyway guys, uh, I think that wraps up the update. Uh, if you want to see a full review of the uh, One UI 2.0 update, you can refer to the Galaxy S10 video. I did a more in-depth video on that. So I'm not going to go in very in-depth with this video. Just a quick one. Show you guys the uh, the update on the Note 10 that is running currently. Um, battery life, um, really too early to tell. I'm now at 43%, you can see. Um, I don't know is how long is it going to hold up over time, but it's still my the first day i'm using this so i can't really tell yet i will I'll definitely report on the battery life and see how go, how well it goes with this update uh, on the note 10 uh yeah so that's pretty much it actually so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video actually this is my last video of the year so i'm going to take this oppo opportunity to wish you guys a uh, happy new year if you're watching this uh, because this is going to be the last video I'm going to upload for 2019. So I hope to see you guys in 2020. I'll be making more videos as well. So yeah. And yeah. So stay tuned for more videos next year. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.